Everybody knows me, calls me Chuck. I had seven, five boys and two girls, 20 grandchildren, 36 great-grandchildren. And then uh, uh, I saw a cow bowling and I went out there and I was going to get the, the bull to the cow and uh, I got, got him in the same lot. He charged me and he, he knocked me down and then he pushed me about 75 feet and then he took and kicked the 1,500 pound bull and he kicked his legs out, put his whole weight on my chest. Now I stood, they call that goring and he crushed me. And the thing that only saved me is that I had my girdle on from my spine operation. And that kept my body from going completely flat. And that's why I, and then they took me to the hospital here in Wadena and uh, I, there was no way I was going to make it. And by God, I, I did. I rehabilitated me. Uh, I was a dairy farmer and then they rehabilitated me, which I was all for. I, I, don't, I don't like sitting around doing nothing. That's not the way I was raised. See, we, we had gone to another hospital and we had gone there for years because we lived in the Bluffton area and, and we went, we just happened to go that way, you know. And, and so we did for years. And uh, so when she went in with her congestive heart failure, they were so nice to her. They just, that's all you ask when you go in the hospital. Be nice to me, comfort me, you know, and help me. And they did that. And so when she had her stroke, these girls were so nice to my wife, Lynn uh, uh, Pickering. And uh, it, w it was comforting to see her. And then I knew Matt Carey, who was her nurse too. And I knew these people. See, that's, you know the people. And a lot of people, I taught their kids that are here. I taught their kids and they know me and I know them, you know. And uh, they asked me, you know, how's Mary? And uh, how are you doing? And, and, and you know, everything. Yeah, it's not, that's, it's, it's a big family. It is. Uh, the first one we run into was uh, Shadeen Schmidt, and she said that uh, if you don't use, you don't want, she has a right to live well, and she says maybe four or five days she'll live because of the damage that she only lived for. And then uh, Strand was so tender with her, just nice, and uh, that, that was comforting. Yeah, these were people we didn't know. But Strand had visited with her when she had her congestive heart failure. She was her doctor then, and uh, she said, oh, I wish I had known her. She says, your wife is so sweet. I wish I had known her longer. And she was, that's the kind of person she was. Everybody loved her. Was not going to come out of it. And they were honest enough to tell me that. And we have a living will, so they couldn't put any tubes in her, because we didn't want that. It, they were just so gentle with her, so nice. They were so nice to me and everything. And I, and I know they have art in the building, you know. And I thought, well, you know, this was Mary's. I had made this for her. And I said, she would like me, because I know she wasn't going to come out of it, you know, to give them that. And so I did. And, wow, they, I, like I gave them the world. <laughs> yeah, really. And I feel great about it. I, my kids, I tell my kids, I love to give people things. I just love to because they they, they light up and, and you know that for a, they might have had a problem or something, but for that few minutes, they, they feel good and I feel good. Isn't that great?